Guess who gets to have surgery? Yay! <laughs> Hey guys, Melinda here. Oh goodness, this is kind of just an update video for you all. Something has happened and I've been very procrastinating on putting this on my channel, but it's it's getting to the point now where I need to. And that's in less than two weeks, I am having knee surgery. I am very, very nervous and very scared for it. I have torn the meniscus in my knee and it was not able to heal on its own, so I'm going in for surgery so they can repair it. And I feel that I need to take you back to the very beginning and give you guys just an outline of what happened. March 31st is the day that this happened. I was exercising, I was working out, I was doing an insanity workout. I was getting towards the end of it and I could feel myself getting very tired, but I really wanted to push myself. So I kept going and I kept going. I overexerted myself and overextended and I felt a pull when I did it too much and I collapsed to the ground. Of course the pull initially hurt, but like the pain went away very, very quickly and I continued on with my workout. I didn't think anything of it. My knee ached a little bit after that, but I thought maybe I just didn't damage it to the extent that I did. So I went on with my day. Fast forward a couple weeks, my knee is still kind of bothering me and I have actually torn the meniscus in my knee before. Same knee, a few years ago, I started to think that this pain in my knee felt very similar to when I first tore my meniscus. I had a doctor's appointment coming up soon anyway while I was there. I asked him about it and he did an examination right then and there and he said it's possible that I did tear the meniscus in my knee but the only way to know for sure is to have an MRI. Here we are, we're about mid-April at this point. So I schedule an MRI and I go and I get it done. If you've never had an MRI done, it's this giant machine. Whenever you're having an MRI of, your body basically goes into this giant machine so if you're claustrophobic Phobic, good luck. But because it was my knee, only my lower half went into this machine and my head was sticking out. Not to mention this is going on during COVID, so I have to wear my mask the entire time. And then they put these giant headphones over me because the MRI machine makes so many loud noises. So I was just very uncomfortable for about the 20, 25 minutes it took to do this MRI scan, but we move on. That same day, I heard back from the people that did the MRI and they gave me the doctor lingo of it. I kind of want to read it to you because it just, it was insane and I could not understand it at all. Horizontal tear of the anterior horn of the lateral meniscus extending to the superior article surface. The tear is associated with a 2.4 centimeters perimeniscal cyst along the anterior periphery of the anterior horn. The lateral compartment is otherwise normal. Borderline patella alta intact patellofemoral cartilage. Good grief. <laughs> Normal medical compartment, intact ligaments. I don't know about you guys, I understood the third and the fourth point of that, but the, the first and the second one, I didn't understand the doctor lingo. I got as far as horizontal tear of lateral meniscus extending. So it was confirmed that I had torn my meniscus, but I, again, didn't know to the extent of the damage. So about a week later, I go in for an actual knee specialist. He's going over my results and he tells me that the horizontal tear that I have in my meniscus is actually very abnormal. Most people get a vertical tear, but because I had an abnormal tear, it was horizontal. He mentioned that the fluid that sits within our kneecap that like helps us move around, bend, and do stuff comfortably, the fluid in my knee was leaking out of that horizontal tear. And hence why I was uncomfortable and my knee was hurting. He said that it's a possibility that it could heal on its own, but the best option would be surgery. So I just said, okay, I think we need surgery because I personally believe that this isn't gonna heal on its own. It's progressively getting worse every day. So that's when I found out that I needed to have surgery. I have this documented that around April 28th is when I notified my job that I needed a leave of absence to take my surgery. And so they said that the scheduler would call me and we would get a date for surgery. And I get the call and they said that the first available time frame was July 1st. So so here I am, end of April, thinking how am I going to survive the next two months on my knee to get to this surgery date? Oh goodness, let me tell you, it has been a journey. I've been patiently waiting the past two months 
for July 1st to come and we are almost there. We are less than two weeks out from my surgery date. I am ready, but I'm very nervous and very anxious. I think I did surprisingly well being on my knee for anywhere from eight, nine to 10 hours a day at work, retail, hard cement floors, bending, lifting, walking, all of that stuff for two months. And I think I did okay. Yes, my knee was uncomfortable and it hurt, but only at certain points. I would always feel it when I would go home and that's when I'd ice it and elevate it and do it all over again the next day. Only within the past week has it gotten significantly worse. Let me also say that because of dang COVID stuff right now, my Macy's is horribly understaffed. Let me tell you, we're all feeling it. We're all exhausted. And I feel so horrible that we're in this position. I personally feel so bad that I, I did more than I think I was supposed to. I would pick up an extra day a week. So I would work six days a week versus my normal five. I would work anywhere from 42 to 50 hours a week at that point. And my knee wasn't horribly bothering me. So I, I thought I was okay until it got to seven days in a row, eight days in a row, nine days in a row. I think at one point I did 10 days in a row. It was getting brutal and I was definitely feeling it. Just this past week, I did an eight day stretch. Multiple of those days, I was on my feet eight to nine hours. And especially the other day, I had to do a 10 hour day. I was in so much pain that day. Also that same day, I was getting dressed. I must have bent my knee weird when I was putting my pants on, but my knee has not been the same ever since. After I, I did that weird pull, twist, whatever I did, I had to sit down because I was gonna fall over standing up. I was in so much pain, I couldn't put any pressure or weight on it, and it scared me. You know, I still have to go to work for the next two weeks. I can't afford to call out. I can't afford a call out at Macy's because we're so understaffed, and oh gosh, I'm just in a predicament right now. I'm over it, I'm just over it. I'm ready for surgery to be here because I just, I wanna be able to walk again. I wanna be able to do normal things without being in severe pain. So yeah. There you go. There's uh, the fun timeline and time frame. It's been about three months since I found out that I tore my meniscus and have been walking on it regularly at work. So there's my story. I just wanted to give you guys this update on what's going on with me. Again, in less than two weeks, I'm going in for surgery to repair that meniscus and to drain the fluid that is leaking out of it. I have my pre-op appointment with my doctor next week, which I will get all of the information, like what time I need to be there, how long the surgery is gonna take, what I need to bring, yada, yada, yada. And most importantly, if I'm gonna be put under anesthesia. I imagine that I am going to be. I have only had surgery one other time in my life and I was put under anesthesia and it was terrifying waking up from it because my brain was fully functional and I so desperately wanted to keep myself awake when they pulled me out of it. But my body just wanted to shut down and wanted to sleep and that was like the worst battle ever. So I'm nervous about that. I love my mom so much. She is flying up here for two weeks to help me after my surgery. I'm all around nervous and I'm scared and I just hope it's uh, easy surgery, easy recovery, nothing goes wrong, and I'm all better. I did want to roll that into my next thing, and that, yes, I will have a lot of free time on my hand, but I don't know if I will have the opportunity to film content. So if there are a few weeks that I don't post, that's why I am busy recovering, didn't have the opportunity to sit down and film a video like this. So we'll see. There we go. I'll stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for the support. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. It would absolutely mean the world to me. If you have any questions or concerns, anything like that, leave it down in the comments down below and I'll respond to you guys. Other than that, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.